Well, hello. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making a special spaghetti Alfredo dish. It's going to be really good. All right. So first in the background, I have a pot of water that I'm bringing to a boil with some salt in it. You can put whatever pasta you like, spaghetti or some curly noodles or elbow macaroni. Today I'm using rigatoni. So about 16 ounces. And in this skillet, I have two tablespoons of olive oil heating up. And in this skillet, we're going to put in one cup of diced onions and a half a cup of green pepper. All right, we're just going to cook this until it's softened and kind of translucent. And then we're going to put in one tablespoon of minced garlic. And then we're going to cook for another one to two minutes. All right, and then we're going to add in one pound of ground beef. And then we're just going to cook this until the hamburger is done. Alright, so my meat is cooked all the way through. We're going to go ahead and drain the grease. Um, a good trick I learned is to get a paper towel and you're just going to swirl it throughout. Just soaking up that grease. You don't take anything out of the pan. Alright, now we're going to add in one and a half teaspoons of salt. three-fourths teaspoon of black pepper one tablespoon of Italian seasoning And then one and a half jars of your favorite spaghetti sauce. All right, we're just going to stir this together. And then we're just going to set this to the side for now. All right, so now we are going to make a homemade Alfredo sauce. If you would like to use jarred Alfredo sauce already made from the store, perfectly fine. So for this homemade wine, you're going to take one stick of butter. And we're going to melt this. All right, and then we're going to add two tablespoons of minced garlic. And we're just going to cook this for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to sprinkle on one tablespoon of flour. And we're going to stir this constantly for one minute. All right, then we're going to take this off the heat. And then we're going to whisk in two cups of heavy cream. All right, and then we're going to bring it back to the heat. And we're going to... Put in one and a half cups of Parmesan cheese. Then 
then we're gonna gently cook this until the cheese is all melted. All right, and then we are going to dump in our pasta. All right, and then just stir it in and get it evenly coated. We're going to take a casserole dish and we are going to grease it. And we're going to pour our pasta in. And just spread it evenly. And then we are going to take our red sauce and we're going to pour it on top. All right, and then you're just going to spread this evenly over, but don't mix the two layers together. All right, and then we're going to take two cups of mozzarella cheese and we're going to sprinkle over at the top. And then we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes just to let the cheese melt and get all bubbly. And then we're going to let it cool for 10 minutes. And then I'll see you then. All right, that's looking really good right out of the oven. And then we're gonna sprinkle on some parsley. And some Italian seasoning. All right, that looks really good. And then we're just gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. So I'll see you when I can dish this up. All right, let's go ahead and dish some up. really good all right bye